Hi, and welcome to Matt Holman Talks Mental Health, the podcast where I have the opportunity to sit down and talk to amazing humans about their journey with mental health. For this episode, I'm so happy to introduce Stuart Mace to the conversation. Welcome, Stuart. Hello. Hello. Um, so pleasure to, uh, to, to see you, to, to meet you in person, or well, virtually in person, as all of these are always done. Um, just a very brief introduction from me. So Stuart and I know each other through social media, and as many of these uh, conversations have evolved, um, so getting to know each other a little bit through the sort of social media channel, in particular LinkedIn. Um, so thank you to LinkedIn for, uh, for your help and support to get people together, connecting people. Um, we share so many similarities in our stories, actually, so I'm not going to spoil too much by saying anything else. Um, but it is just always wonderful to, to catch up and chat with other fellow humans that really are passionate about this subject. And I think you'll see that with Stuart and his story as well. So Stuart, uh, Stuart sorry, um, pleasure. Introduce yourself, do a proper introduction. Mine's pretty poor there, right? No, that's fine. You can, you can call me what you, what you like. And I'm glad you <laughs> called you already. Um, oh, okay. that, that, that's the, the, the family term for me, uh, Stuart right. or Stewie. So uh, um, I think we've... Um, We've come on leaps and bounds in, in the <laughs> you know in the short conversation that we've been having. But I'm um, yeah. glad to be here, and uh, thank you, uh, thank you for having me, and and thank you for the opportunity to, I guess, uh, a voice, you know, you know where I am with 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 things and um, and um, how I you know how I see life, I guess, at, at the moment, and and how yeah. I can be of some some help um so uh, as you said my name is um, Stuart or Stuart Mace and um I'm currently with uh, with a business called the circle line and um I'll put a plug in for, for them as to you know what we do um which is uh, quite an innovative um platform where we we look to um uh, help businesses and individuals from a psychological um awareness point of view uh, around mental awareness, mental health. Um, we offer um, a, a personal performance program as well as um, online access uh, to, uh, to practitioners, whether that's counselors or, 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 or therapists. Uh, we look to make it affordable and accessible um, and, and, and flexible. Um, and I came into this type of work having had a 17 year uh, history in, um, in recruitment. And, and, and prior to that was in was in health and fitness um, and that's what I actually studied um, um, sports science and um, and moved through through uh, throughout career within that area as well uh, and how as I said it, it came about with regards to looking at moving into um, understanding um, mental well-being it's always been there in, in my mind and um, throughout my career you know you would have come across incidences of you know, looking at the psychological piece um, of, of individuals. But this really was, was rammed home to me when I was, I think for a better way of saying it, Matt, was chewed up and spat out um, in a corporate world. Um, and in a sense, triggered events, which uh, in my wife, which, you know, which her, her health, her mental health really deteriorated from going from seemingly we had, you know, it's just me and my wife there's no children and having you know a lovely life lovely holidays um to somebody in the mid 40s losing probably the best job that they had um to a first panic attack having a breakdown seeing a gp going into a gp referring to a psychiatrist a psychiatrist referring uh, my wife into um into a hospital into a psychiatric hospital um, into COVID coming into play with the lockdown and then her having uh, an attempt on taking her own life in a short period of time there was an element of I think I need to become a little bit a little bit more aware of what's going on yeah. um, and the effect that's obviously having on me but also um, how can I be that support to, to somebody who I've spent two-thirds of my life with and I certainly am not ready to, to lose her. And, and whether or not I'm ready, it's it's what's going on with 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 her with regards to how how can I be that you know that person that I need to be yeah. uh, to ensure that you know we we continue to to, to live as 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 happily and as as and, and as long as um, as long as we can together. And I think similar to your story, Matt, it's about um, looking at yourself first and foremost. But then how does that help? you know how does that help others and that ties nicely back into to the circle line because realistically that's what it's about for us you know it's around that prevention as well as the cure yeah. looking thing looking at um, a psychological approach 
um, with 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 empathy. But then, how does that get the best out of an individual or or, or a business? Yeah, well, uh, what an introduction you've done the the, the introduction, the the job, the, the bits of yeah. the story, of course, as well, which is great. You know, you've given people a, a sort of insight into into your journey too. Um, so, so that's the big part of this, of course, is is expanding upon this journey that you've been on, Stuart. Mm. You know, let's let's, yeah. let's sort of look at you from your perspective, if that's okay, and sort of the experience that you've been through, because I know, as you say, it's sort of come full circle. No pun intended, but pun intended, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, but the you know the reality is you you've been through a journey of your own life you know from from meeting yeah. your wife when you were very young of course to to where you are now which is which is obviously you know helping support somebody who is very you know or struggling a lot with their mental health and and so on so i'm going to just throw you a big question here so please can you tell us more about the sort of the experience the story the the sure. sort of thoughts and feelings that you've been going through as well because that's then defined as your yeah. journey with mental health sure yeah and, and i think you know as i as i as we spoke about um initially i think that, that there's a you know there's a realization of of for me, for me you know 18 months ago uh, my thought process would have been what's going on you know big pull your big boys pants up or your big girls pants up and, and, and get on with it it was yeah. Yeah, am i going to be okay in saying it was a typical mid 40 white blokes approach you know it was kind of like what's going on there's nothing to see here um to sitting in the car park after admitting my wife to hospital and thinking i can't fix this and this is the first pretty much the first time in my my life i i had to trust other people yeah um, with the thing which was most precious to me and it is vulnerable um didn't like it but embraced it and thought yes this is the best thing to to, to be able to to happen and at first there was a lot of blame, Matt, you know, I was blaming parents, I was blaming COVID, I was, you know, I, you know, I wasn't even looking at myself, was I blaming myself, you know, and there's, there's all those types of types of thoughts. And it happened so quickly, you know, from, it was literally a five week period. And it was, it was, and, and, and behind the scenes though, I, you know, I was still, at that time, I was still negotiating with my company as to what the, what a settlement would look like, right. um, and and you know that that wasn't particularly particularly nice. And and ultimately, you know, when it came to it, money really didn't play a factor here at all. It wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't about that. But I, I I knew that what had gone on would still sit in my mind, and I would have to confront that and understand that at at some point. But it was just on the back burner. So. Things happen quite rapidly for the first, uh, for the you know those those five weeks. So obviously the health is is more important. Loved ones around you are more more important. You know actually job and money, yeah. forget about it kind of. Secondary, thing. yeah, yeah. You know, and the world was going into the lockdown. Also, in the UK were eventually going into lockdown. So there was you know there was a lot of talk around mental health, and and people were panicking and people were scared, and and there was there was a lot of fear. Um, so in terms of that sort of coming out. It had it has taken a while for me to to understand it, um, and you know when I decided when I looked at what I wanted to do, um, and I got in touch and or the circle line got in touch with with me, um, it was kind of like oh, my business is built around practitioners and counselors and therapists. I'm like oh, okay, well, I'm not sure if I want to do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like well, why not? And and. The more I spoke and the more I looked into it, the more I thought, wow, you know, this is something which um, it was it's like a realisation and it's a self-realisation, a self-awareness um, that I that you know came about. So I did my mental health first aid in there. You know, as you know, they, they, there's an element of uh, the algae acronym of, um, um, you know, listen and communicate non-judgmentally. We did our role play, struggled with that. Yeah. You know, and just thought there's, there's 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 a lot here you know there's yeah. you know my wife is going to tell me stuff and i'm going to go no you're talking rubbish well um yeah you know, that's just not helpful but actually no. it's ignorant yeah you know so there was that aspect of um okay let's look at it let's try and rewire that let's try and change that thinking um and and that is you know the continue if i'm going to use this phrase the continuing journey there's no start point and there's no end point it is you know, it is continuous. Like, you know, mental health, we all have it as we hear all the time. 
you know, we can be thriving, we can be unwell. It's that, you know, it's that continuum. There's no beginning. There's almost no, you know, there's, there's, there is no end. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as I say, it comes, you know, with regards to the circle line, which is, you know, part of the marketing there, the name is referring back to things going around in a circle and, 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 and a script and a cycle in one's mind and drawing a line underneath it, but you can go around in, you know, in circles. Yeah. So, um, I, I think for me throughout that period, um, I, started to talk to a therapist from a real business point of view and asked you know why does somebody want to have therapy what's the benefit why would somebody and of course it's that whole word therapy that i yeah. think people are well something's not right so i've got to speak to a counselor or a therapist well it doesn't need to be like that and it's not like that you know mm. you know our business is actually promoting talking to practitioners from a performance point of view you know to to actually maintain what you have sustain yeah. your own mental health and actually get better um and, and and actually how does a therapist help you do that a practitioner help you do that they just ask you the questions you work it out for yourself you don't break down and cry <laughs> you, you know you don't it's not you, mandatory right it's not mandatory. yeah and, and I, I spoke to somebody once and um they said oh, i won't do that because you know i don't want them to go looking for it and i questioned that so what, what exactly what is it they're going to be looking for and yeah. If you're scared of them looking for it, you probably need to talk about whatever it, uh, yeah, it, yeah. it is. Um, so, yeah, and, and, and in terms of this, you know, I, I look at this as, you know, I, I um, am still learning a lot. I'm still yeah. finding out a bit about myself, still trying to be that support for my wife, who by no means as well. Um, right. This is really at the at the beginning. Um, similarly, it's, you know, are the supports in place, the right supports? Um, do we need to be looking at things slightly differently? Do we need to be asking ourselves, myself question and, 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 um, and, and brave enough and vulnerable enough to ask those questions of, of Jackie and, and, and the people who are supposedly, you know, looking after her. Yeah. And we can do, you know, I, I, from my perspective, of course, you know, is just keep educating yourself more on these things, you know, to understand more about what's going on, to understand more about what, what you can do to, you know, the biggest part of supporting is just listening. You know, for yeah, me, that, right. that's what, what it is. You know, I think about the situation with my daughter, which is no, not too dissimilar to what you're going through with your wife, of course. And, and, you know, and having that ability just to sit and listen to what she wants to say. And, and like you say, we're, we're so judgmental. We always think we know the answers to everything. And, and actually, sometimes we just need to say, that's your perspective. That's what's going on for you. That's how you're feeling. I can't change what you're feeling. And it, it's so interesting. I, what I found fascinating, uh, Stuart, is, you know, you mentioned this point in eight months, sorry, 18 months ago, when obviously you had a workplace change. Sure. You've learned a lot in that 18 month period now. Mm. And, you know, some, some of it, unfortunately, is life learnings through experience and, and support. Now that what you know, applying those, that knowledge, do you recognize things from your past oh, yeah. pre, pre 18 months ago? You know, oh, we absolutely. have this wonderful way of reflecting, don't we? Self-awareness yes. is a wonderful thing, but yeah. at the time you don't see it. Can you, no. can you define some of those things that might have happened? Yeah, yeah. and, and you, 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 you've hit the nail right on the head there with regards to um, talking to people now, you know, talking to people now about, can you not see what's going on? No, 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 there's nothing to see here. I mean, yeah. I know at the time of recording whether or not you know, it's in the spotlight, obviously, with um, we're recording now in, in the beginning of June with regards to Naomi Osaka. I mean, that's a yeah. classic. There's nothing to see here from the French Federation, the yeah. Tennis Federation and what have you. And um, and going back, you know, as I said, my, my, my kind of action, again, probably brought up in England and Stroke Island and brought up as a Catholic. Um, right. You know, there's that element of Catholic guilt and all this sort of stuff. And, and yeah. yes, I, I can I can certainly look back on it. And, and in my last year, of the corporate world as i call it um it, it wasn't very pretty wasn't very nice it was you know i was the term I, I would use is you know gaslight you know i was i was somebody who had um had a good you know number of years in a career and was made to feel useless yeah. pretty much um, although the performance was there, uh, but but then it's 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 going back to it, you know, to other to other uh, aspects, not just in in work and 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 as I sort of you know as I've mentioned, I've, I've been with Jackie um, for thirty years, um, so we met when we were very very young, and I look back at what uh, things have happened within her within her personal life and her family life and work life, and. It just seems so damn obvious now, Matt. You know? Yeah, of course. It, but at that time, teenagers or early to early twenties, or you know, or even around old, you know, I'm, I'm 
bring it into the personal aspects, even around our wedding, you know, and, and you look back at it now and Jackie is bringing back these memories because these are obviously what's caused trauma yeah. um, to, 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 you know, to trigger the, the, the depression and, and uh, see PTSD. You look back at it now and you go, bloody, you know, it was, yeah, you just, the, the phrase was, you just got on with it. Yeah. And it, you shouldn't really just get on with it because look what happens later on in life. They need to be dealt with, they need to be tackled, they need to be spoken about there and then. Um, and yeah, you, you, you kind of think, if I'd known, if I was maybe switched on to that awareness then, we could have dealt with it then, and you've got to deal with it because it only, you know, creates, you know, potentially issues further on down the line. So yeah, absolutely. I, I, I you know, from, from, I guess, walking out of that door that Monday morning till now, there's been that learning curve where actually, I start to look back and you know understand things, and and I've, and I've voiced this before to 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 one or two people. Um, going back to starting with with the circle line and me having that chat with um, uh, with, with the therapist from a purely business point of view, and and as I said, I made sure it's just a, a purely business point of view because I didn't want to go touching it. Yeah. The therapist said to me afterwards, she said, "Look, I'd love to talk to you on a personal basis. You know, we'll book in every any time you like," and and that sort of sat with me for around two or three months uh, two or three weeks and i was yep. resisting it and i didn't know why i was resisting so i did it um and i was in there you know and her question to me was um you know thanks for coming back what is it you want to talk about today <laughs> and, I, and i just said <laughs> well i don't know you told me to be here <laughs> or as i say oh, yeah. nothing to be here kind of approach yeah um, and then she you know she asked um so well, what would you like to talk about your childhood or would you like to talk about present day? And my initial response to that was, well, I had a happy childhood. So why don't we talk about present day? Which I thought was a fairly reasonable um, answer. Um, her response to that was, well, if you had a happy childhood, why do you not want to talk about it? It makes you the man you are today. And because you don't want to talk about your happy childhood and you want to talk about present day, right. that leads me to think there's something not quite right about present day. But it was that piece where she said, well, if, you're happy, ha if you had a happy childhood, why would you not want to talk about it? Mm. So when I look back, I look back on happy memories as well as actually what can I learn from, from other things? And why don't we look back on what we did well and our successes and, and what have you? Why are we focusing on, Always well, nice. I was kicked out. But, you know, so it was, it was a very enlightening moment. Um, and, you know, as I say, when you do look back, there are areas in your life you think actually that was good and i've and i am that person because of that yeah in a positive way as much as it is a negative way and yeah. you know for about two or three weeks after that matt i was looking back at my childhood being brought up with my my elder sister and brother you know and and, and they, you know they were really really happy times and you know yeah. my family made a lot of sacrifices my mum and dad you know being brought up in in the 70s you know part yeah. of it was in surrey part of it was in dublin yeah and I have these conversations now with my brothers and sisters and I said do you remember that and they go yeah and it's kind of what's like you know this is all warm or fuzzy but it has it's kind of brought you all closer together yeah we talk more um we remember more um and you know what I understand my brothers and sisters more than than I did 18 months ago you know you'd meet yeah. up for family gatherings and it'd be how you yeah we're all right yeah uh, and then you have the conversation around football or politics or yeah. music but you know now these are more um, fulfilling conversations, mm. and um, yes, as I said, it is warm and fuzzy. But it's kind of whether it's COVID, but it's kind of making me feel more attached and more aware um, of of myself and obviously what I have, which obviously yeah. leads to gratitude, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, well, I find that fascinating. You know, the warm and fuzzy, more of it. That's what I say. Because I think, yeah, of course. I think, yeah. I think, I think it does. It helps us, doesn't it? It's, you know, we recognise, we talk about those challenges, but we can also celebrate the positives. And you know, the biggest challenge we have within mental health, is, as I see it, is you know, is that we're still fixated on the thought that it's all bad. Yeah. You know, because because yeah. it's the only time we roll out the conversation of mental health is when things are going bad. Yes. And when we're struggling and it's not we we should roll out the conversation of mental health as a normal conversation and when yes, we're enjoying indeed. life <clears throat> yes. excuse me and when we're enjoying life we should be able to talk about it and it's a positive conversation yes. then isn't it so yeah. 
it's it's fascinating. I I I I'm I'm really tuning into your perspective switch, which is yeah. that, that 18 month window that you've now experienced. Um, yeah. Through a pandemic as well, <laughs> through through a small event called COVID. Sure. Yeah. Now whether or not, well, I can't change that, and no. whether or not it's helped or not, it, it, it is what it is. And and there are various times when I say to Jackie, "Where would you rather be?" Back in yeah. February 2020, March 2020, or now. Yeah. And not, you know, it always comes back to now because of yeah. what you've learned and what have you. The pandemic is the pandemic. Um, yep. Yeah. We can use that as an excuse or not. We can blame it or not. It. it I, out of our control you deal with what's yeah you know, what's here what's now yeah. um based on the past to ideally have a have a have a better future but just coming back to your point Absolutely. there on you know the the um the mental wellness or the mental health being perceived as potentially an illness it's it's you know i posted something today actually on linkedin um which was, you know, if everyone has mental health coming from a business point of view, why don't businesses, so many businesses don't look after the mental health of everyone. It's only those who are struggling or not, you know, not coping. Whereas look at the most, you look at your workforce, the majority of your workforce are probably thriving or could be thriving or well, yep. but you do nothing <laughs> realistically to, to maintain that and sustain that, you know, okay, his access to an app it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the you know the support that they need and actually i just marginalizing those who actually have gone past the point where you can help them yep you know you kind of chasing it now whereas there, there needs to be that element of let's encompass everyone with regards to what this is about we talk about physical health and you know i know you know this you talk about physical health there's no issue and problems with that it's so interlinked you know your, your mental your physical your gut health it's all yeah. you know it's all interlinked and um the conversations I believe are more and more frequent. I'm now hoping that there's going to be more and more action um, mm. because I still see a lot of resistance within within society, actually, um, yeah. as well as businesses to actually, yes, it's okay to say I'm not okay, but what's the response? What's the help, if, if I'm being honest? Because I do think there's still a long way to go in, and um, a lot of work to do in that, in that area huge amount of work and there you know the good thing is there's companies like the circle line like my company yeah. you know lots of companies that are now starting to sort of really push this harder you know it's not just one small business trying to do it it's lots of businesses that are saying look these conversations are really critical and important aren't they i think the biggest challenge you know and listening to what you're saying and the words you're saying is you know when we're at when we're at school when we're young we have a lesson called pe physical education we, we used to yeah yeah well we yeah now they've changed that of course but but we never had one that was mental education you know or well-being edu or health education yeah. you know in the same yeah. way and and that was always the problem so we've always learned and been fixated on this thought that we have to stay healthy physically mm. but we never learned that we have to stay healthy mentally yeah. so it's yeah. totally detached which is why yeah. there's this huge gap between the two pieces which is people can understand physical and i always use that actually about you you get physical i can ask you how you feel at the moment if you feel healthy or you know physically healthy and you can tell me that because you can tune in, you can define, it, but yeah. you can't tell me if you feel. Yeah, it's the form score. It's, it's the Rob yeah, Stevenson exactly, yeah, form yeah. score, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, good old Rob Stevenson. Yeah, yeah. form score yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, and, and and I think that is you know an easy an easy way for a business to adopt something yep. which is going to is going to give you the mood of of a definitely. business, the culture yeah. of a business. It's the thing they're not gauging because they do most companies do surveying once a year. <laughs> you yeah. know and it's subjective to how <laughs> yeah. i feel today if you're yeah. asking me how do i feel about my boss today i'm just going to tell you i think yeah. they're a pain in the backside or i think they're brilliant it, it's yeah. subjective to that moment it, it's it's constant isn't it um i do want to move the conversation john just briefly because we've only got a few more minutes left that's in, okay but, yeah. but just, sorry, sorry i might have gone on <laughs> oh gosh not at all no 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 you haven't gone on um i want to just understand your self-care because it is a critical part of the the supporting others. You know, I posted about it recently. You, you, mm. you know, I know we talked about it, but but retaining that ability to perform as much self care as possible. What do you do? How do you keep? Yeah, yourself? you know, I'm still learning this. Yeah, Matt. And 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 funny enough, I had a session with um with a practitioner um about a month ago, and she asked the same question. She mm. says, "What do you do um to um to self care?" And I it, it can't. It's an obvious question, but it kind of stops me right. because I was like, okay, what is it I do do? And um, there are still things I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I, yep. I'm conscious that I'm doing things, I, 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 doing things which do help. 
recently I'm spending a lot of time in the garden. Love it. Brilliant. Um, I, this is going to sound really boring, Matt, but um, <laughs> during lockdown, um, I found myself getting attracted to doing jigsaw puzzles. Okay. Um, and I don't know if this is old man syndrome kicking in, but I just found that <laughs> I lose Not myself for hours just trying to do a, you know, a, a, it was online, you know, Nothing wrong with that. puzzle. Um, reading I'm finding helps. I haven't been a reader, um, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm finding that helps. Haven't yet tapped into the journaling in peace. I've tried it. Didn't yeah. feel right for me. Um, I just didn't, I'm just not, I just didn't go back to it. It didn't flip the switch. I play football. I go to the gym. Um, but one thing I find really is something I really, really value. And I think it helps is just before I go to sleep. I think of um, five things I'm grateful for yeah. in that day. Whatever, and I will find five things, even if they're you know very very minimal. And I, I can't sleep without getting to those five things. Well, what I find that's helping me do is I'm going to sleep in a positive frame of mind, yeah. being thankful, being grateful. I do not remember any of my dreams, um, but I know that that's part of my day where yeah. I'm going to dial that dial down i want to say so it's meditation but i'm just dialing yeah. down i'm looking back and i'm thinking okay what you know what went what did you enjoy about today yeah and it's those and and do you know what i don't know how long it is it could be five minutes it could be five hours before Doesn't i drop mean, off i yeah. don't you know but i just know that i've got that part of the day where it's all quiet you know there might be a cat scratching at the door or something but it's all quiet um and it's just me and my thoughts yeah. and i'm looking back thinking what am i thankful for what am i grateful for um you know because i love what i do you know i don't really switch off from work and i know if that's i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but i i don't feel burnt out i don't right. you know the fact is is that i will talk to anyone who's prepared to listen about mental awareness and self self awareness so therefore yeah you know sitting in front of the tv at half past nine sending out a few tweets or, or what have you doesn't really seem to be like work no. it's not i don't know if you feel <clears> the same <throat> way about you your job if we call it job it's not a job yeah so yeah exactly so it's and i know i need to switch off and that weekends you know i will do and i'll do stuff around the house so i'll just go and sit in the garden as i mentioned so yeah i think that's um for me the self-care piece is almost self-awareness yeah oh absolutely it, it is you know i yeah i don't i don't have a job anymore i had a job once didn't enjoy yeah. it um yeah. so, so i don't have a job anymore i just think that's pretty what i love in this year is is you've got many different pieces you know and, and that's critical to self-care and i just you know hope everybody mm. hears that because you know the jigsaw i love jigsaws as well so yeah. let's just say it's a it's a, it's a middle-aged man thing maybe my, maybe not my, my wife did berate me for it she still does oh did she really <laughs> oh, no, she I goes, know. what are you doing what no. have i married i'm like I'm doing a jigsaw. It's not affecting you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it's, you can it, do your yoga. It's that does, safe you know? space, isn't it? What, yeah. You know, and I love this statement that says, you know, self-care is about giving yourself permission to pause and pausing just can mean just taking a moment, just to breathe that mm. gratitude piece that you do before you sleep. It's mm. such, you know, it's such a valuable way of, of yeah. using, using a moment of your time to, yeah. And it all circles back to time. Most people give up their self-care routines because they feel they don't have enough time to do them. Why I do, yeah. you know, it's yeah. hard. It, it, they're too busy. You said this, yes. I think. Oh. Too busy. Saying you're busy is an excuse of doing oh my something God, you don't yeah. want to do. So, well, I could, yeah. Yeah. It, it drives me crazy. I, yeah. I, just, it, I just hate right. it. I, I believe. I, I, you know, that's my opinion. But I think you're right. It is, you know, and coming back to your initial que your question, earlier, I used to always look back at work. When people used to say to me, how are you doing at work? I'm busy. Yep. It was all for five years. I'm busy because we thought that was a good thing you know we thought that's what i need to be i was busy but yeah it, it's but think actually... about it it's a precursor to an excuse yeah isn't it i'm too busy or i'm busy and then somebody says oh do you want to come for a drink tonight i can't got too much to do do you yeah. want, are you going to the gym later i can't got too much to yeah. do and, and all we use it for is a precursor to an excuse and i don't like that you know it's i'd love to be busy doing things that i enjoy <laughs> that's what i try to make yeah. myself do but i don't yeah. like to think of it as busy i'm doing things i enjoy for purpose no. agreed yeah Love that. oh my god you know we've, yeah so many things we could touch on here we, there's so many similarities in the stories as well and yeah, yeah. maybe we need a part two maybe we you know what maybe i find we, I, we have a maybe I'm we should have that. a sequel 
<laughs> yeah, I'm finding that with a few of these now. It's sort of like, oh my God, there's just a million questions that we could talk about or things yeah. we could discuss. Um, we are coming to the end. so That's fine by me, of course. I, I, I hope so. Um, I'm going to throw it over to you. Just final thoughts, Stu. If you've got anything you want to share with people, if you've got any sort of snippets of wisdom that you want to share, please feel free. Um, just for me, just a huge sure. thanks. Uh, just throw it over to you. Any final thoughts? Yeah, the final thoughts for me is, is going to be that around... Uh, Again, I'm going to bang on about it, but it's it's, it's that self awareness, yeah. um, and acting on what you hear and what you see in your body and and then externally. But it's realistically ask yourself those questions, give yourself that time to to breathe, to stop, and understand. Um, and even if you don't come up with any answers or ask yourself questions, it's just you know, as I say, be be self aware. What you do has an effect on other people and has consequences. Yeah and and um yeah it, it's there's nothing you know from a psychological point of view or there's no grand statement i think for me it's just literally understand be understand yourself be self-aware and then coming from that you know, pouring from an empty cup if you if you understand yourself and you know yourself you're going to be so much better and uh, for other people and there's so much you can get from helping others and 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 that and that purpose piece Brilliant stuff. Really appreciate that. Wise words. Uh, Self-awareness is so important. Um, as I always do at the end of these, just very briefly, if anybody is struggling or if you do want to talk to Stu or myself about any of these topics or the conversations we've had today, you can get in touch. Please please do feel free. Um, but there are obviously organisations out there today that exist to support conversations. If you are struggling, please know in 2021, we should not feel we are alone. We should feel that there is somebody we can talk to if we are struggling, if we are having those, those challenges that we just feel need a little bit of extra support for. So reach out. Samaritans exist today, of course, to help aid some of those conversations you can call for free on 116123 or you can text a shout if you prefer to 85258 so please know there's always somebody to listen um thanks so much Stu, for today i really appreciate your comments your wise words and your wisdom um and sharing your story so thank no you so much for that i really appreciate it i wish you all the very best and good luck with with yourself and with your wife of course and sending thank you positive thoughts and energy to you guys excellent cheers matt speak no soon take care now bye thanks bye bye